In the last video I showed you how to make this triple cable in knitting and I thought it would be really interesting to do the identical cable in crochet. So that's what we're going to learn how to do today is to make this coffee cup cozy out of Be So Brave yarn which is 100% American merino wool and if you haven't done cables in merino wool before you will love it. The texture really pops and so I'm going to show you what this looks like flat. It's a triple cable meaning it's more like a braid. We're going to be working in different directions as we go and we're going to do the whole thing in post stitch which you can see from the back side makes a really dense fabric which is great for keeping your hands safe from hot coffee. We're going to be using Be So Brave yarn, which is worsted weight, and we're going to be using a crochet hook that is a size H8 or five millimeter. If you haven't done post stitches before, I will definitely be showing you how to do that. One thing I do want to point out is this is not a beginner project. This is not what I would consider a beginner project or a beginner post stitch project. So keeping that in mind, it, does, it is going to look kind of complicated at first, but trust me, if you keep up with me, we will get through it and you will definitely understand how to do cables a lot better once we've done this cozy. We start with a chain 17. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And we're going to skip the first three chains to count as our first double crochet. And we're going to double crochet in the fourth chain from our hook. And work one double crochet in each of the next chains all along. So by counting that first skipped chain three, we're going to have a total of 15 double crochets at the end of this row. I wanted to make this cable not have extra stitches on the edge so that it would scallop like this. That's what we did with the Knit Cozy too. I'll show you that one. Instead of doing stitches in a different stitch pattern so that it would pop just out from the fabric, I wanted to make the cable completely isolated from other stitches so that it had that beautiful scallop. And that's what we created with this one too. The problem is with crochets, you have to do a chain three at the beginning of a double crochet row, normally to adjust for the height change going from row to row. And what I've done here instead is we're not doing a chain three that counts as our first double crochet. We're doing a loose chain two and pretending it's not there. <laughs> so what we're going to do is chain two, but not count as our first stitch. And we're going to work the row as though we're working it with stitches on either side. So the next row is to back post double crochet across. So you're going to yarn over your hook and wrap your hook around the first stitch and then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We're going to yarn over our hook, insert our hook from back to front, and then around the post, back to the back, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And I'm going to do that really slowly all the way across the row. This is back post, double crochet.
Okay, so that's what it looks like from the back side. And we'll move it back to the front, chain two, which counts as our first stitch. And now this is going to be the first row of our pattern row. And we're going to front post double crochet around the first three stitches. So front post is the inverse of the back post. We're going to yarn over, insert our hook from front to back, and then back to front around the next post. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we'll do that again. It's the front post, double crochet. Oops, one more time. Okay, now we're starting the cable. We're going to skip the next three stitches and we're going to work a front post double crochet around the next three stitches. And then working in the stitches that we skipped, which means you're going to look to the back side of the work to find the placement, and we're going to double crochet in each of the three stitches that were skipped. So you just want to find your place by looking on the back side and then coming back to the front and just working a double crochet in each of those three stitches. This is where I'm suggesting that the pattern is a little bit hard to get used to, but once you get first through the first few rows of this, it will get easier. These first few rows of twisting cables is going to look really strange. So our first cable is done. We're now going to repeat that six stitched cable again. We're going to skip the next three stitches and work a front post double crochet around each of the next three stitches. Okay, and then we're going to go back and double crochet in the three stitches that we skipped. So you want to yarn over. When you're looking at the back side, you can insert into the first stitch and then come back. It's just a great way to find your place. And then we'll double crochet in that stitch in each of the next two. Okay. And so, see what a mess this looks like right now? <laughs> this is why it's so hard to get started on a project like this. So the next row is the same as every wrong side row in the entire project, and that is to chain two and work a back post double crochet in each stitch across. The problem is that once you turn your work, it's kind of difficult to figure out which stitch to work into next. So you want to remember how you worked your last row so to remember that you're, the first three stitches are double crochets, not post stitches, and it helps you to remember your placement. So we're going to work a back post double crochet around each of the stitches across, and if you get confused about which stitch you're working into, you want to turn your work back around to the front to figure out which stitches came next. So we've got those first three stitches there, and then we're going to look back to the front. The next three are these post stitches. Okay, the next three were three plain double crochets, so you want to look for them in the front. Okay, it's these stitches in the back right there. So we'll grab our yarn and go back, and then we're going to work a back post double crochet around each of those three double crochets. And then we'll turn our work back around and look for 
the next stitches and then all six of the last stitches on this row are post stitches and they seem to be really sitting just plain they're not twisted anymore all the cables are already worked so we're just going we're going to find where the first one is again it's this is the hard part this is what makes this pattern hard but you can get through it i've already done it once and i'm doing it a second time and you can too okay so there's the place of our first one so we're yarn over i almost like to grab it first before turning back around to the side i'm supposed to be on so that i don't lose my place and then it's easier to find the stitch next to it sort of thing Okay, and then the last three stitches, back post, double crochet. Okay, chain two, and we'll turn our work. And you can see now that both of our cables twist to the one side. And now we'll go back to the finished one so you can see Yes, our first cable crosses to this side. But now, and then we did a row of plain back post double crochet. And now the following row is going to be to twist cables to the other direction. And in order to keep it braided like that, what that means is not only are we going to twist to the opposite direction now, but we're going to do it over a different set of stitches. Remember how the first three stitches we worked plain and then did our six cable and six cable? Well, now we're going to do the reverse. We're going to work six cable, six cable, and then work our last three stitches plain. So we start with the chain two when we turned our work and we're now going to double crochet around the next three stitches or we're going to sorry chain two skip the first three stitches and double crochet around the next three stitches and then over the three stitches that we skipped we're going to work a front post double crochet Okay, so now we're going to skip the next three stitches and double crochet in the next three stitches. And then working back in the three stitches that we skipped right here, we're going to work a front post double crochet around each one of those. And then in our last three stitches, we're going to work a front post double crochet. Okay, it's still pretty difficult to recognize your stitches, but it is getting a little bit easier. And you can see that we've got our cables going to the right and then our cables going to left, which is mimicking the braid in this one here. Okay, the wrong side row, again, always going to be the same. It's chain two, turn your work, and back post double crochet in each stitch across. Again, we're going to have to work back, go back and forth to reference which stitches came next. And the more rows we have complete, the more obvious this is going to become. It's wonky here, but see how much nicer it lays down once you get going. So that's what I want to show you is that it's as difficult as it may look in the beginning, it will get easier. And by going back and forth and looking at the right side, you can find your place a lot easier than if you don't. Okay, so we're working back post double crochet in each stitch across. The first three were easy to recognize, so I'm fine. And then I'm going to turn my work now. Okay, the next three are post stitches, then the three after that are the double crochets behind. So we're going to back post double crochet around the three post stitches. And just tip my work a little bit to the back side just to find my first placement. Then once you get going, the rest of the stitch is just a double crochet and that's easy to find. Okay, the next three stitches were these double crochets. So we'll wrap. 
from back to front to do back post, double crochets. Okay, and then the next three stitches should be post stitches and the last three should be doubles and that looks about right. Now to recognize them from the back side and just tip to the front if you have to. I'm looking for three post stitches and then three doubles and working a back post double crochet in each one of them. Okay, our last three doubles. They're hidden in the back, but at least I I just did the pattern so that I did double crochets for the stitches that are in the back of the cables instead of doing post stitches. And the reason being, first of all, they're in the back, so it doesn't really matter. And second of all, they um, they present themselves a little less prominently, which means that it's easier to find them in contrast when you're looking for them on the back side during that secondary row in the pattern. Okay, so now we have cables going in both directions. Now we're going to repeat what we've done. At this point, you've learned all of the rows of the pattern. So we're gonna go back to the first patterning row, which was chain two, and work a back post double crochet in each of the first three stitches. And then over the next six stitches, we're going to work a cable. We're going to skip the first three, front post double crochet around the next three. And then we're going to work a double crochet around the, the three stitches that we skipped. So we'll look to the back side to find them. At least to find the first one and then it's easier to find the next two after that. Okay, and then we'll do our last cable, which is to skip three stitches, front post double crochet around the next three, and then we're going to double crochet around the three stitches that we skipped. So I'm gonna flip this over to the back side to find those three stitches that we skipped, at least to find the placement of the first one and work a double crochet in each one of them. Okay, so our next row is done. And again, it does not look pretty at this point. It doesn't look pretty until you get that back post double crochet row done. And the trick to that one is figuring out the placement of the stitches to get them all worked in the right order. So we chain two and turn our work. We're gonna work a back post double crochet around the next three double crochets. And then the rest of the row is going to be to alternate working a back post double crochet around the next three post stitches and then around the next three double crochets. So the next three post stitches are presenting themselves fairly prominently so it's not too difficult to find them. Okay, and the next three stitches should be double crochets. I'm gonna turn my work to the front to find them. And they're right there. In each of the sets of three, as long as you find the first one, it's very easy to find the next two in each of those sections. So when I flip my work around, it's usually to just find the first of the next three stitches. Okay, the double crochets are done, so now we're going to be looking for the next set of post stitches. And the next, the end of the row, all six of the last stitches are post stitches, so once we find the first one here, it will be easy to continue on and finish the row of back post double crochet.
Okay, chain two. We turn our work. Okay, so now we have the right leaning cable done with two repeats and one repeat of the left leaning cable. So now we'll do that one a second time. We chain two, two we already chained two for the beginning of our row. And now the pattern is going to start with skipping the first three stitches and working a double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And then working a post stitch around the first three stitches that we skipped. Sorry, front post double crochet. We're on the right side row now, so all the post stitches are done in the um, from the front. Okay, so now we're going to skip the next three stitches and double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And we're going to work a front post double crochet around these three stitches that we skipped. Okay, and then in the last three stitches, we're going to work front post double crochet. Okay, our second set of left leaning is done. So we're going to finish that off now with a wrong side row of chain two and back, back post double crochet in each stitch across. And if you notice, it's already starting to get less wonky. You're, it's a lot easier to recognize which stitch comes next. And as we go now, it will continue to get easier to recognize where you work next. But never hurts to flip your work <laughs> and take a look. I think this would make a really beautiful brim on a hat too. Gosh, would that be warm or what? Or you could even make this a wider cable. You would just repeat extra sets of the six stitch cable to make it wider. So it would be a multiple of six plus three, but that we could discuss at another time. At this point, I wanted to show you how to do the buttonhole, which is super simple. And I just did it before uh, fastening off the yarn. And then obviously you know how to sew a button on. So I just did it nice and big so that it would um, make its way through the uh, coffee cup handle. Okay, so you wanna end up making your strip about two inches narrower than the circumference of the coffee cup that you intend to cozy or cover. And so what I want to do is show you how to do that buttonhole. We're going to chain three and double crochet in the same stitch. And then we're going to chain three and we're going to double crochet in the space between that last chain three and double crochet. And then we're going to chain three and double crochet in that space between the last chain three and double crochet. And you want to do this for a total of seven times until you have seven of these ovals. When you have seven ovals, you want to make sure that you slip stitch to the first stitch at the beginning of the round row to join. Fasten off and weave in your ends. Make sure you download the free pattern on my website. It spells out step by step how to do the front post and back post double crochets. It tells you line by line how to do the entire pattern. And then you can get some information on this beautiful merino wool Be So Brave yarn.